Hi guys, I'm I'm Pacific and welcome back to another episode of Battlefield 1. So, if you guys missed the last episode, it's pretty freaking brutal to be honest. But uh we basically it introduced us to the brutality of the game. And then we played a mission where we were a tank and then we played another mission where we scouted out in the woods and had to be like the beast. So now we are, our tank is broken down and we need to get the parts for it. The thing is, is the Germans have taken our tank parts. Alright. Oh, so RB uses the binoculars. Got it. I was wondering where those went. Okay. So. This is where we need to go. Good thing I picked up this sniper rifle. So, as you guys could tell, my guns in the beginning were clean, and I'm walking on the ground now, my guns are getting muddy. So, is this... I need to know what kind of rifle this is, because... Okay, it's not the rifle I wish it was, but... Oh, okay. Glad I picked this up. I really like this one. And I don't have any ammo for it. Okay. Let's keep going. Because remember, I like to think if we die, the other guy at the tank dies. And our friend, by the way, also abandoned us. So, that's good to know. Is there tank parts? Okay. Nice one. One down, free to go. So we gotta get the other parts. Alright. There's some weapons here. Alright. Hey, an achievement. Nice. Uh, what's this? Stick grenade. I already got those. What's in here? A rifle? C. Rigotti trench! Yeah, baby! Oh, they changed the sights on the C. Rigotti. Okay. So, if you guys don't know what this gun is, in the beta, this was the medic gun. The first one you got, and it's just a semi-auto rifle. You can make, I don't know if you can make it full auto in this one. But, next time we see some enemies, we'll test it out. But this gun is pretty good. Alright, let's see what we got over here at this tank. I do wish I had a sniper rifle. But I have a rifle. I have a rifle and a pistol that's basically a rifle. So, we're gonna keep it up. Alright, weapons cache. Let's see if we can find a Sigurati again. What's this? I don't want a Lewis gun. What's this? Ah! Do I want to keep this pistol? Because, let's see how much ammo this has. Okay, this has more ammo than the pistol, basically. And it does more... Whoa. Pretty good gun. Silenced. So I gotta remember that the sniper rifle's here. But a... I don't know what a silenced pistol is gonna do for me, though. Because once I killed one, they all appear, but... I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's see if the, if the pistol isn't worth it, then I'm going to go back to that weapons cache. So I... Okay, it just gets their attention. It's slower. Come over here, buddy. Okay, so yeah, the pistol's kind of worth it. Kind of not. And I used up all the ammo for it. So before we get that, we're going to go back and get this sniper rifle. I like this pistol, but it doesn't have ammo anymore. Like, look, see? I'm pushing X right now, and if you guys look at the bottom right, it says I'm out of ammo. So, well, uh, I have been playing this game for about an hour now 
Sorry if you guys can hear the vents going off in my house. What's this? Loose gun. But, so far, this is the best, like, this, uh, uh, between this campaign and Battlefield 4, this campaign is actually, screw that, this campaign's better than a lot, than Call of Duty campaigns. That's why I like this gun. I, this gun you can quickscope so good with. So the Sirigati is not automatic. Come on, let's reload. But I am not a medic either. Oh no. No, don't don't alert everyone that I'm here. Shoot. What are these? MP18s. MP18, what is this gun? Gur 98 Infantry. So, I prefer this gun. This is basically the Lee Enfield. Alright. Any other snipers in here? I like this weapon crate thing. What's this? Kill eight. Oh no, 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 no. Holy cow, this gun has a clip. 33 bullets in a pistol? Okay, that's that's maybe just a little too much. Let's get let's get on with it. I know you guys I've done enough scavenging for weapons, I guess. But mm. halfway there. Yes, you are halfway there. And we may be able to take out both camps without switching weapons. There's a horse over there. That'll be useful. Alright, I'm gonna put my extra bullet in here. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think he's in there. Ooh, I have a club. I still have the spiked club. No! And his gun fl fell through the floor. Wow, that's like the first glitch, really. Guer 98 sniper. Don't need that. No, oh, you get quick scoped, boy. I just shot him right through his artillery sight. That's awesome. Well, I've been burned by fire before, but jeez. So, in case you guys don't know, um, sorry if I'm quiet. Sorry if I'm quiet. I legit can't see. Like, I, I don't know if you guys can see, but... So, th anyway. Whatever. This gun... Oh, shoot. This is where the engine is. But this gun... So, the Seer Gotti, it can hold ten bullets, but the way you reload is based on bullets of five. Just one more. So, if I use six bullets, I reload five in and then one. If I if I reload four, it's one, two, three, four, you know. There's someone over here. Sorry, I've... Since I've been playing freaking games... Oh, here we go. Kind of need this horse. And I still do have to use the horse weapon. Yep, still gotta use the horse weapon. If I can get over here really fast. I'm gonna leave this guy here, I'm gonna use it. See if we can do this quietly. Cause I am running out of ammo. And I'd like to have some ammo with these particular guns. Cause I like them. 
Or did I kill everyone over here? For some reason, there's no one over here. There we go. Four spark plugs. We got them. That's all of them. Now back to Bess. Yes, sir. Hopefully Bess isn't gone. That would not be good. Good thing I got the horse, though. Alright, what's what we got here? Dynamite. I already have that. And here, weapon. I thought I heard movement. Uh, Mondragon sniper. What? Oh, this is a this is a medic gun with a scope on it. I don't want. Actually, I do because it has more ammo. I understand that I am playing a trial. That's why I'm playing the campaign. Is about every ten minutes it does that. Can I pick this up, please? Thank you. About every ten minutes it does that. So if I'm playing multiplayer and I'm getting shot at, and that happens, like what am I supposed to do? Or if I'm shooting at someone and that happens, what are they supposed to do? I didn't do. I didn't win that kill fair. He, whoever got. The trial screen like that, they they lose in a firefight. And it's not fair because if someone if I'm shooting at someone and they randomly stand still, I'm gonna assume that their thing just said trial and that they died from BS. Cause it you know, whatever you could say like maybe a bullet didn't hit them and they didn't die from BS, but that that is real BS. Okay, fine horse. Don't don't cooperate with me. Horses, man. They just don't listen. I'm in the open, and it's kind of creepy. Look at this f land, though. Like, and you hear explosions going off, too. Thing is, though, is I'm out in the middle of a field, and I'm pretty sure there's still some Germans left. But I'm kind of nervous about dying right now. Also, I have a, I have a question for you guys. Do you like it when I do my normal, like, -da 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 -da, like rambling when I play this game? Or would you like it more if I was kind of more quieter and chill? And because let the game kind of speak for itself. Oh my gosh! He came back! He came back. He came back. I lost my way back there. Wow. Well, There's no right way in a place like this. We'll find one. You're the driver. Yeah. See, he gained some respect for us. I don't... As much as that guy's a jerk, I don't want him to die. Nice work, boys. Yeah. We did good, didn't we? Aye. Nice. Respect! Oh, yeah, the last Let's get on moving. That guy's drunk now. I've done everything right! Everything! Wow. My whole son in life! All I've done is live my life by the manual. By the manual! Oh my gosh, this guy's pissed at an engine. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? You stupid bloody machine! Start her up, Come buddy. Come on, Bess. Pull yourself together and work with me here. Fuck's sake, I thought you liked to bloody well fight! Come on, buddy. Start it up. Nice. She likes it when you swear, boy. Nice. All right, Edwards. Rendezvous is past those hills. I'm just making sure I'm recording everything. Nice. Capture tanks moving into the village. Steady, lads. We're well behind Jerry's lines now. There's no way of knowing what we're up against. True. That's a cheerful thought. Come on, lads. We'd help together this long. 
Let's not fall apart now. I like how your character has a voice. I like the development of this tank crew right here. Like, you have Finch, who died, who was, like, um, he was kind of the happy, you know, welcome to the tank crew. You had the other guy who died, I don't remember his name, who was, like, the introvert. And then you have the captain, who has, like, a good captain personality. Then you have Mick whatever his name is, who is just, like, the cynic, but also, like, kind of got to warm up to him. And then you have Edwards, who is the noob, who is, like, learning how to do everything, and is also you, so he gets to do everything awesome. All right. Keep on the little one. That's what the orders are. See, normally in games when they're like, shoot stuff, you're like, don't tell me what to do. Yeah, listen to them. When they tell you to shoot something, shoot it. Townsend is the leader. Yeah. That's a nice attitude. We got no... We just got weapons on us. We're good to go. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Well, I feel, I feel invigorated like the guys in the game. That's weird. I feel just like invigorated, ready to go, beating them up, not scared. Wow. That's weird because that's what the characters in the game feel like. When I was going through the trenches and it was all brutal and ugly, like, the characters were feeling that too. I was feeling that. And right now, I'm invigorated. You know, I got my tank back. We're rolling out. Getting through. I feel that too. And the characters feel that. That is good design of, like, relatable characters. Or, I don't know what that is. That's just awesome. Gameplay. That's just straight up aws aw awesomeness. So, okay, his name is McManus. Come on, hit me with that anti-tank grenade. I'll just repair it. Alright. I hear an engine. Ah, there he is. Come on. Are you afraid of me? I'm like the tank. Oh, I see how it says Black Bess on the side right there. Right on the bottom. Come on, blow him up! Bam! Keep us moving. Use cover where you can. Nice! Alright. Let's repair the tank. It's raining dirt. That's cool. The dirt effects in this game are amazing. If you guys notice, sometimes like I drop down and mud would splash in my face, or right there, dirt just started falling. All right, get it moving. Nice. Alright, McManus. Nice, let's go. We got this. Okay, this is objective complete. There's a train yard on the other side of this hill. We're looking for a main road just past it. Alright. Main road just past the train tracks. Got it. We're going. This is a staging area. They're fixing to retake Cam So we drive straight through. And what? Let them surprise everyone at the rendezvous. So what's the plan? We have to take the initiative. What do we do? If we hit them hard and fast here, we can make a difference. Alright. Let's bloody do it. Right. Keep moving. Keep them confused and off balance. And let's hope they don't realize we're on our own. Alright. Let's take out these things. I, I, I got a message. Just hi. Okay. Whatever. I'm not in the mood right now. And he just sent me a message. It's a random link. And he's trying to fix the problem. I already fixed it. So... Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, he, he's probably sent me a bad link or something. Whatever. Anyway. Oh my gosh! I gotta do it. I already. Ah! God. It. Oh my gosh, I'm getting shot at. I gotta type so this guy doesn't ruin the recording. Okay, oh my. I know. There we go. Shoot him over. Shoot him. Do we have a gunner on the sides? I think we do, actually. Yeah, man. You should be the guy shooting the infantry, and I should be frickin' shooting everyone with the explosives. Because right now... Oh, I'm in a situation. Oh. Uh, stop sending me messages. Uh, those grenades. I like I don't want to talk because everyone is talking right now. Like, in, like, what am I going to say? They're telling me to do stuff. They're kind of adding to the game anyway. Don't talk to machines. Good. I'm just going to sit here and repair it while you guys shoot at it. Or not. Alright, fine. I just wanted to repair the tank, you know. Give it some care so we don't explode. I don't usually like tank missions. These are awesome tank missions. Like, it's not like, okay, this is a game based on infantry. But we're gonna put you in a tank, right? This isn't a game based on infantry you're putting in a tank. They have correct tank physics and everything like that. And they're just like, hey, put it in a mission. And it's working. I'm trying. I'm repairing, lad. I don't actually think that's the correct thing. I think he's captain, not lad. I'm lad. But... Nice headshots. All right, I do need to repair. I don't want to stick at 70 because if I find like two big tanks, that's not going to be good. Nice! Alright. I hear voices. Alright, where are we? Where else are they? Can I get out? Oh, I can. Dang. Don't let me see any tanks not from me. Find every last one. Alright. So I can get out if I need to. If it suits me. So where would the tanks be? I think they're over here maybe? Alright. Where are they? I can't find them. I understand. There it is. Okay, found it. Let's get back in. Found the tank. I like how you can get out of it. So this isn't a tank mission. This is just a mission where you do whatever. And you, you deal with the situation, whether it's in a tank or out of a tank. I mean, obviously, the tank might be the better option, but... Can we just blow this thing up? Thank you. Alright, what do we do? Destroy the counterattack. Got it. All right. 
So they're d coming down the main road. So we should be aiming here. I think. Yep. Light tank! Keep a good light on it! Nice. I dare you to line up for my shot! There we go. Yeah! Pitchard, that was the guy that died. So is it three shots? It is three shots to kill these guys. So I am the driver. Uh-oh. I understand, man! I'm in the middle of a firefight. Okay, that is getting on my nerves now. Can you guys cover me so I can repair it? I'm repairing the tank, man. Yes, get in through the top. That's good, too. Whatever. Just get in the tank. Let's blow these people up. Let's blow up the truck. There should be another... Ah, there's the other truck. Where's the other tank? There's one more. Hi. Right. Here we go. I decimated that other tank. Yes, McManus. Cut him down. I got the tank covered. Nice. Aye, the last tank. I wonder if I can run this thing over. Oh no, that's not a that wasn't a good idea. Alright, I got I do have to repair. Alright. Let's get Bess doing what she does best. Killing people. I'm hurrying! Calm down, my gosh! Where'd they come from? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, 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 I don't want to die from one of these. Yeah, those are moving fortresses. So McManus is the gunner, even though I'm controlling it. I'm in cover right now. These are just like enemy LAVs, kind of. So we're in a tank and these are the LAVs. You can't hit this. Oh my gosh, come on, kill it! It's not hitting me though. What the heck? There's no need for this intense music. Watch my health. Okay, it hit me. Come on, kill it, man! Nice! I know. Let me repair this thing. So I am lad. I can't call anyone else lad. Nice. Boom. I thought we killed everyone though. Wait. There we go. I believe this tank has the same reload as the uh, artillery. Nice! 
You did it, girl. Next stop. Advance to the rendezvous. Sir, Get moving. Townsend. Oh no. Uh, don't you go thinking you can drop dead on us now. Uh, uh, I'm fine, boys. Just tie up all the fun. Oh no. We gotta get out. I saw the grenade. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Come on, Mc. Oh my gosh. No. Not Macmillan or whatever his name. Macmill. Macmowers. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, bitch. Oh my gosh, he blew himself up. And of course, you know, Edwards is the last one alive. Which I'm not saying that's unreal, but that's what they gotta do for the story right now. Where'd Macmillan's body go? Oh no. Oh, that was the scene we saw. Again. That was this scene, wow. Oh, there's Macmillan's body. So this guy legit of this battle that we just happened, that we just did, is the last one alive. And Macmillan, right? So, what do we do now, driver? Oh, there we go, baby. Nice. Man. So that was a crew of five. And two are left. Oh, here we go. Here's the story. How many survived in that? How many of those survived? Oh, that's right. The war ended. This is the end of the war. Was Camberry really the last one? Yeah, it was. I'm probably, I don't know my history that well to know all the names of battles and stuff, but whoa. I got an achievement. Oh, this is a rare, they call it a rare achievement because no one ever gets it. I mean, when you get this game and you're not recording, you're not gonna be playing the campaign. Here we go, baby. I just got, whatever, wow, so that was the amount of campaign story that I could play, so that was about an hour and a half campaign, My granddad I believe, the Civil War. yeah, that was one set. So there is more campaign, because I know stuff happened in like Serbia, and France, and Africa, and I think Turkey, maybe not Africa, but lots of stuff happened. I know, um, I think Poland, no Poland, never mind, I get Germany and Poland mixed up, but there's a lot of stuff that happened, there's more content. I really enjoyed this campaign. The fact that they made it to where you did not have to stay in the tank. Because I could have done that mission without the tank. I could have gone, killed out all the people, gotten the artillery, taken out the stuff. The fact that you didn't have to stay in the tank and the tank worked amazing was perfect. And the fact that like they made the player feel the feelings of the crewmen, right? Finch died. You felt sad for Finch. You were going through, like, the first mission, right, in the last episode, where it was all war-torn and everything. You were going through this really 
just desolate, you felt a sense of just desolation, right? You felt like there was nothing you could do. And then you went through the fog, you were creeped out by the fog, and then you went, you got the parts back, you were, you, you had a mission to get the parts back, and you felt like you needed to do that, and then that last mission where you got rejuvenated to, to beat everyone. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that campaign. Hopefully, if you guys have EA access, get this game for yourself. I would say just for that campaign, I would buy this game. If there's if the rest of the campaign is like that, I would totally get the game for the campaign. Cause that was like fun too. Going through collecting weapons. They had lots of different weapon choices through those missions. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Battlefield campaign that I could play. I will do more when the final game comes out. But now, I need to go do homework and then record some episodes of Uncut. So I'm I'm Pacific, and see you guys in the next episode of whatever I decide to make.